Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Trek 820. Hey guys, I'm sorry for not being able to upload yesterday. I'm going to make up for it by uploading two videos today. One is going to be the review of the Trek 820. Let me get this for my thumbnail. There. Okay. So, and then the other one is going to be how to make a DIY chain stay guard. I'll do that on my Marlin 7. But that's why I haven't uploaded. I'm going to make up for it. Sorry about that. Guys, sorry about that. I had to talk to my grandpa. I filmed this part three times because I keep forgetting about what the... Um, no, no, I'm not going to refilm it again. Just bear with me. It is called a crack. Okay, I've had no problems with cracks, chips, or scratches on this frame. It does have a, a water bottle mount thing. And it's just not on it right now because I took it off. So there's not really much to talk about the frame other than it is a 13 inch single track series. And these cables are not internally routed. But let's take a look at the seat. It looks a little bit different than the 2019 models. I personally like this better than that, the new seat look. But here's the seat post. Had no problems with it. I've had no problems with anything on this bike, to be honest, besides the pedals. Let's just not talk about that. So let's take a look at the, sh the gearing. It is a pretty big front sprocket compared to my hand. Uh, it's, it's probably as long as my hand. It has the Shimano Tourney. Tierney. I can't really say that much stuff. The derailleur is the Tierney TX. This 3x7 drivetrain kind of drives me crazy. But it's okay. It actually comes with a plastic chainstay protector. So chainstay should be pretty protected. If it's not like these pedals. <laughs> Just insulting the pedals. Okay. So the back brakes are the same as the front. Except for, I they've never come come undone, unintentionally. I did buy this on the side, or aftermarket, I should say. Even though it's not that big of an upgrade, it's just a protector here, and no dork disc. Rim brakes, they are pretty powerful for considering their rim brakes. I. I like them. If I had to choose any rim brakes, it would be these because this. Sorry about that. The stopping power from the this, I have it set so it engages like gauges about there and then like locks right there. So about that much. That's just play right there. So that's that. But, like, I, I can't stress it enough. For rim brakes, these are really good. I've had to film this twice, actually, because I didn't like how I did the first one. But I don't know if I already showed these tires. These tires are pretty good, considering they're hybrids. Like, for mountain biking, they actually give you some traction, compared to my other hybrids on my Marlin 7. Take one more look at the tire down here. Bontrager LT3 26 inch by two. Bontrager AT550. Okay. I should have just said 550, but still learning. So this seat is actually pretty nice. Bontrager SSR. Don't think that's a seat model. I just think that's what it is. 
but I think we've gone through pretty much this whole bike. So now let's get into the stuff that I don't like about this bike. So we want the bad news first. Something I don't like about this bike is this three by seven drivetrain, but it's, it's doable. Like before I got my Marlin seven, I didn't know anything else but this. So I had to like it, these pedals. These are absolutely disgusting. I hate them, but I'm not gonna replace it because I don't ride this bike anymore. So another thing I don't like, I don't like this plastic here. I've never had any problems with it. I just don't like it. Okay, so the suspension, I'm not gonna put it on my don't like list. I'm gonna put it on my maybe don't like list because it works and it's good, but the only reason it's not on the don't like list is because of this. I don't know, I just like something. I just like it because my Marlin 7 has this, it just doesn't work like this. But the only bad thing about this is it kind of springs you up a little bit. It's not bad, actually. Like, at least it works. It's really not bad. So now let's get into the stuff I like about this bike. I like that this bike is able to have a cup holder, just considering it's a commuter bike. I also like these tires. These tires are really good for off-road, like light dirt trails, gravel, road. They don't wear down unless you're like drifting all over the place. Another thing that I like about this bike is the seat. Compared to my Marlin 7 seat, the seat is so comfortable and it looks okay. Another thing that I like about this bike is the grips. They're not lock-on, they don't slip, and they have actual decent grip. So, Considering with all that being said, if you are looking to buy a Walmart bike, do not do it. They are unsafe and they look bad. So get the Trek 820 if you're looking for an entry level mountain bike. So this is gonna be it for today and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you, have, if you haven't done so already and you've made it this far into the video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Really motivates me. So. I can keep posting my videos and I don't know if I already said this but I'm going to camp Lake Geneva youth camp for a week and I'm leaving tomorrow which is Sunday so don't freak out that I'm not posting videos so that's why but like I said just be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one